Here are four Amphi cars in a row at the car show, and I just had to video them, although I've videoed Amphi cars before. They were produced in uh, West Germany from 1961 through 1968. And of course they could go on both land and uh, on water. Seven miles per hour, uh, how many knots that makes, probably about uh, the equivalent knots on the uh, water and supposedly 70 miles per hour on land. The power plant back here was a Triumph engine, 1200cc Triumph, and it was made it to a Hermes uh, gearbox, a four-speed uh, gearbox made in Germany, nylon propellers back there, and it was a four-speed synchromesh transmission. I like the colors, uh, the different colors were available here, you can see the differences. It had to pass uh, Coast Guard regulations. They have the lighting there on the bow that uh, was required. And they were expensive. They were about $2,900. So they varied in price. They went up in price as time went on. And the market was aimed at uh, for the Americas. Uh, not so much uh, Europe. And uh, most of them were shipped to the United States. This one has a placard that uh, tells you a little bit more about the, uh, about the car. And this owner did customize it a bit. He put in a different engine. Notice the hood ornament. It's a little bit different. And you notice the uh, rubber strip that goes along the side and the uh, bumpers there is to protect the car when uh, you're docking. This was the only mass-produced uh, car that uh, was on land and uh, sea. Notice that steering wheel has been modified. And they're a pretty familiar sight down in uh, Central Florida here. And uh, they uh, are seen in the lakes occasionally. And that tells you a bit more about the history. Of course, you have to be careful with these cars that the, uh, the water is sealed out of the car. Make sure those rubber seals are proper on the doors. But a pretty neat car. Not exactly fast though. Zero to sixty took uh, 43 seconds.